today I'll go over how to create an envelope in Microsoft Word. Well, an envelope design. This introduction is based on the version of Microsoft Word provided to all ECU students for free, the 2016 version. Microsoft Word's platform looks the same no matter if you're using a Mac PC or a Windows PC. First, let's take a look at some business envelopes to get an idea of what one should look like. If you noticed, all of them focus on one thing, their logos. It is the way the customer identifies the company. Even we do. For example, I'll show you a list of logos and let's see if you can identify the companies. You're probably familiar with these companies even if you don't have policies through these companies. We'll keep this in mind when creating our business envelope. First, let's open Microsoft Word. Then, click on blank document. At the top here, you'll see a bunch of tabs. Let's click on the mailings tab. And once we've clicked on that, let's click on the envelopes tab. Uh, for the delivery address, the delivery address is who it's going to. Um, let's say that we have a policy with a family, um, a family of, of four, which is the average American family. Um, so I'm going to type in, I'm going to address this to a family. I'm going to use the Lawrence family. And for address, I'll use 1516 Greenville Boulevard. And Greenville, North Carolina. Zip code two seven eight five eight. All right, let's go down here to the return address next. For the return address, that's who this information or this document is coming from. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave the the name empty. Um, who it's coming from, and I'm just going to type in the address. I'll use one two three Main Street. Um, let's add in a suite say Suite 32 in Greenville, North Carolina 27858. Alright, once we have all this information, let's add to document. Um, it's asking me if I want to save this return address as a default return address. I'm going to say no. Alright, and as you can see, it should look like this. But you may be asking, why did I leave uh, my name out um, from the sender's information. I'm going to show you why because I created a logo. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to come up here to this blank spot uh, where I hit enter. I'm going to come back up here to the tabs. Hit insert pictures and I've created a logo for my company, Greenville Insurance. So I'm going to insert that here. I'm just going to adjust it. see and I want all of this to align perfectly so I'm just going to tap my address over so it can fall right under my name and maybe I want to change the font a little bit so it's easily readable let's go to Arial all right and after it should look like this if you need to print preview just come over here to the file tab, go down to print, and this is how your envelope will look. The second way is a little more simpler. So let's go to file, let's go to new, and before we do anything, we're going to see this little bar here, search bar here, it says search for online templates. Let's click on that. Let's type in envelopes. Or envelope, sorry. And let's hit enter. And as you can see, it gives us a list of envelopes on this first row here. Uh, we're going to go to the fourth one on this row. And we're going to hit uh, click it. So it's going to say envelope green wave design. Then we're going to hit create. 
and it should look something like this. So for the company name, because right now I'm going to skip the logo, type in the company's name, Greenville Insurance. I'm going to type in an address here. For my company, I just use www.greenville insurance.co.com and I'm just going to come here to the delivery address I'm going to type in the same thing I typed in the other one I'm going to address it to the Lawrence family that stays on Main Street or that stays on Greenville Boulevard I'm sorry I'm going to type in the Lawrence family And they say on 1516 Greenville Boulevard, Greenville, North Carolina, 27858. All right, I'm going to come down here to the very bottom, and you'll see this is where the address goes. And this is how many companies send out mail or notifications this is because they're not expecting you to return this mail to them they're not expecting a reply and in this case we're not expecting a um, in the example that we're given in class we're not expecting a reply so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna type in the address the phone number and the fax number so let's do that so we stayed on 123 Main Street stayed in suite 32 that's in Greenville North Carolina 27858 for our phone number let's use 252-985-6457 for our fax number Let's use 252-985-6457. Um, All right, once I finish, let me go up here and let me insert my logo. What I want to do is double click and hit change picture. And I'm going to change it from the file. So let me just insert my logo I created. A little larger. All right. So as you can see, I have my logo here. I have Greenville Insurance. I have my website information name. I have the delivery address, and I have my address here at the bottom. With this option, you're able to kind of customize it a little more. Um, so my colors are purple. Um, purple and green, so maybe I want to change one of these bars or both of these bar colors. So I'm going to double click on them. Um, I'm going to come here to the shape fill. Let me make this purple. I like this. I can change the outline if I want to, to maybe green, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe I want to change this one too. Change it to the same color purple. So everything kind of looks consistent and clean. If I want to see how this looks when I print it, just do it like we did the other way. Come down here to print and here it shows you the print preview.